this is our moment Always on a grind till the sun come on us They can never control us Running for the prize, raise high for the toast This is our moment 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 Moment Gladiator in this auto war What you think that I've been fighting for? Got a cape on like a superhero They rushing at me like a matador Nah, nah, I don't need your energy I don't need the negativity I'm just trying to bring my people up Promise y'all I got the remedy Straight to the roof Tell them we bringing the troops We got a little surprise You thinking that we the truth We give it 120 We never make an excuse So go run and tell everybody out And now we coming for you This is our moment Always on a grind till the sun come on us. They can never control us. Running for the prize, raise high for the toast. I have been such a bad YouTuber. <laughs> you guys, I am such an amateur at this. I don't know, like, when to YouTube. I forget to YouTube. I get lazy and don't YouTube my things. But I love YouTube and I love following along other people's journeys. So I'm gonna try to be better and just like randomly film my stuff throughout the week so that my videos are more interesting and you can kind of get more of a glimpse into day-to-day -day stuff so we'll see how that goes <laughs> this is our moment this is our moment this is our moment moment yeah. gladiator in this auto war what you think that i've been fighting for got a cape ball like a superhero they rushing that hello hello youtube welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm caitlin and I am documenting my entire bikini prep this year. This is my second season and it's my road to the national stage. So this is end of week nine. It's Saturday, so I've not filmed at all this entire week, which I should have because we had some changes this week that were really fun. And this has probably been like my favorite week of prep so far because Last week in my protocol change, we decided to go 15 less grams of carbs on my low day, but then this week I got two refeed days, two back-to-back -back refeed days. So my refeeds were on Monday and Tuesday of this week. Um, I had 260 grams of carbs, 120 protein, and 40 fat. So it was like 1,900 calories. And I felt so freaking good after both of those refeed days. After Tuesday, I went to the gym on Wednesday and I had the craziest pump. It was my leg day and I was lifting so good. The weights that I've been using the past couple of weeks felt so easy, like I could go up, like double in weight. Those refeeds were seriously massive magic for me and I feel like they came at a perfect time because I really was starting to feel it. So we're doing six more low days and then next week we're probably just gonna do one. <laughs> we're probably just gonna do one refeed day, not two back to back. But my weight this morning was 118.4. Last week my lowest weigh-in was 117.2. We just barely got to the gym. I'm doing my last leg day of the week and Brayden. Uh, full body again. <gasps> you wanna do an update on your prep? No. <gasps> no? Because I still look fat and ugly. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> We're going to go into the gym, get a lift in. Yeah, I'll see you in there. Don't blame me, I'm naked. He just did the Chicago Pro. Nick Walker to me is the big story. Just got show. it. He is the guy. Nick Walker. He's been super confident. What's up, you guys? It is the next day. It is Sunday. 
I need to put my Apple Watch on. I just like went to look at it and it's not on my wrist. So good thing I remembered because I would die without that. So I finished all my workouts for this week. All I have left is one more cardio session. I'm gonna go finish that right now with Brayden. He has cardio too that he needs to finish. And then I might do some posing afterwards. But yeah, last day of week number nine. And then we go into week 10. This is my fit for cardio. Just some Nike little shorts. And then I have these Nike sweatpants. And then my shoes, the Air Maxes, you guys, they're freaking amazing. I love them so much. <laughs> and then I'm all Nike'd out today. Just some little Nike ankle socks and just like a little bralette. I've actually had this bralette for years, like forever. And it's my favorite one. I don't know if you guys have a staple piece of workout clothing, but this sports bra is one of my absolute favorites. Update with my physique though, as far as it's looking. I mean, this is decently lean. My front is like pretty lean. We're almost there. Um, obviously need a little bit more, but all of this is just like loose skin. And then my back, like when I do my back pose, that's where I still need to lean out. And also my back right here, I still have a little bit of fat, but mainly just like in my legs, when in my back pose, I need to lean it out. So you can see the definition of my glutes more. But other than that, we're on track. I'm still like 12 weeks out from my very first show. And keep in mind that we're doing three shows. So really from the national stage, I'm still like 16 weeks out. <laughs> so we have a ton of time to perfect this look. The like speed of progress that I've been making, it hasn't been too quick. I'm like so depleted. Like I feel fine right now. Like I, I have energy. Usually after my workouts, I have been feeling it a little bit more where I'm like depleted, but it's nothing like it was during my 10 week prep when we had to cut a lot and I was doing a lot of cardio every single day. So. Yeah, it's been great. Okay, let's go get some cardio done. This is the pre-workout that we've been having lately. The flavor, Blue Rad's Lemonade. Woke AF truly went out for this flavor. It's so good. And then we stack it. Let me show you what we stack it with. Blood Raz Pump Ocalypse. This is just for better pumps in the gym. But today we're not taking pre. Because we're just walking. <laughs> Got the 45 minutes in, and now I'm just gonna run through my posing a couple of times. Braden's over here studying. <laughs> I have my posing session with Lauren this coming Saturday, so I just want to feel really confident in my posing when I pose with her so that it just runs really smoothly. Good morning, it is Monday morning. It's 10 o'clock right now, I just barely got to the gym, so I'm gonna do my first workout of week number 10. We're in week 10 already, which is insane. If this were like my first show and I was doing like the same time frame, I would be in peak week today. I don't know how I did it that quick and like felt ready, honestly. Obviously I loved it because here I am prepping for like half a year now. <laughs> that has my fire lit to just bring my absolute best to the stage this year, especially at that national level. I have so much more time to prepare. Yesterday I weighed 118.6 and then today I woke up and I was 120 pounds. So I would be lying to you if I said that that doesn't give me like a little bit of anxiety, like it totally does. We did drop my food intake and I am doing an hour more of cardio a week now because we added an extra cardio day and five minutes onto each of my cardio sessions because I'm doing five sessions now of 45 minutes of cardio. So in my check-in, I'm just going to mention that to Lauren and see what she thinks about it because I'm like... Why am I back at 120 today? What the freak? Lauren just came out with a shirt for Team Cosmic Bodies and you can get it if you're not Team Cosmic Bodies too. It says, wanna be a pro question mark, then act like one. And I think that's such a huge statement. I really want to be a pro athlete. I'm trying to just evaluate all my little habits, compare them to what the pros do and make adjustments from there because I really do want that pro mentality all throughout these next couple of weeks. All right, I need to get into the gym because I've been sitting here for like 
15 minutes now. <laughs> I am drinking the Bucked Up Sups Woke AF pre-workout. I drink this every single time. I'm obsessed with it. There are no pre-workouts that compare to the flavors of Bucked Up. Like, not even close. Bucked Up flavors are incredible. I'm not just saying that for real, for real. Every time I go off onto a different pre-workout to try, I'm always like, okay, I can't do it. They're so freaking good. It's like drinking juice. So if you've never tried Bucked Up Subs, you need to. I use their highest stim pre-workout. It might be a little intense for some of you guys, but I am like a caffeine addict. <laughs> and then it does have beta alanine in it, so it will give you those like little tinglys in your finger, which I personally love. Like I just... I think it pumps me up. They have a non-stim one if you're not about it. But this is one of their new flavors this year. Blue Raspberry Lemonade. I'm obsessed with her. She's so good. Okay, I'm gonna go hit it. <laughs> Bye. It is pouring rain right now. And it's like a warm rain, you know, not like a freezing cold rain. I love it. I'm gonna go home and eat because I'm really, really hungry. <laughs> this is my last meal, Monday night. I was getting some work done, so I skipped my fourth meal. So I'm having my fourth and fifth meal together. One egg, three servings egg whites, one ounce of avocado, two ounces of turkey with two corn thins on the side. And over the top, it's the kernel ranch seasoning. Over here, I have one serving of cream of wheat. I actually mix cream of wheat with cream of rice. And then um, one serving of almond butter. Ooh. And Bray, what are you having? I'm having mm, studying for the dat. <laughs> it is now Thursday. So it's been a couple days since I filmed anything from this week. But I thought I'd do a little update because I just listened to Lauren's check-in with me. We're not making any crazy changes. We are just changing one thing for my refeed day next week. So instead of 260 grams of carbs on next Tuesday, I get 240. My weight has been really weird this week. When I started prep, I was on like 1700 calories and I was losing about half a pound a week. And then we turned it up a notch and we did the six low days, one high day. And since then I've been losing one pound consistently per week. But this week I have been really stagnant. It's kind of gone up and down a little bit. Like today I'm 119.2 and my lowest weigh-in was a little over a week ago and I was 117.2 so it's just like ugh, what the heck I hate that every little habit counts that's why this is such an extreme sport because literally everything that you do counts towards your end goal of hopping on that stage so I've really had to sit back and like evaluate everything that I'm putting in my body like what the heck is up what's my sleep at why like is my water intake good like what's happening but I took my check-in photos yesterday and I actually looked leaner than I did the week before one of the things that I'm making sure I'm doing is drinking my water every day I am tracking it a lot more closely so from the beginning of prep I was tracking my water I have like this app and I'll show you guys maybe I'll put it on the screen like right here I created a little widget on my phone that you can just go in and add the ounces of water that you drink after you drink it so you can keep track of your water intake throughout the day because I'll drink water and forget how much I drink and then I'm like at the end of the day I don't know how much I actually got in I always second guess myself if I've hit my water target which right now is at least 128 ounces. I've been getting about 150 ounces though, so I've been drinking a lot of water. That's about two of these a day and then a little bit more, which by the way, I always plug my favorite stuff. I don't have any like discounts or whatever, but I just plug my favorite stuff because I use it every day and I love it and I rep it anyways, so. This is Hydro Drag. <laughs> this is a company based out of Utah and I've been obsessed with them for like three years now yeah it's been three years this helps me so much with getting my water intake in for real I would struggle so bad if I did not have this enormous jug it's 73 ounces half a gallon is that half a gallon or a gallon I think half a gallon <laughs> Another thing I've been evaluating is my sleep me and Brayden are night owls okay we could stay up until two in the morning just like chilling even when I served a mission in Peru and like had to get up at 6 a.m. every single day 
of my life like literally we did not sleep in one day for a year and a half i still was not a morning person like after that habit was built it like really wasn't installed in me <laughs> but i just want to be more structured with my sleep i feel like the more structure you have with like the small habits the less stress and anxiety that you have especially in prep too much structure i think can cause a lot of stress and anxiety like you had to leave wiggle room for your day to blow because nobody knows what's actually going to happen throughout the day but being structured with your little habits is very 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 important i'm huge into habits like huge huge the book i just read for this month was atomic habits by i think it's james clear i want to say so good right now i am just doing some work it is 1.45 in the afternoon. I've been working since 7.30 and I do marketing. <laughs> a lot of people think I just do personal training and I do personal training online, but I've taken a break for almost a year now. I took a break when I was starting my first competition because I really just wanted to focus on that because I didn't know how much time it was gonna take. And when I have clients, like I want to prioritize my clients and have all my attention on them, but I am thinking about opening some spots because I do miss it. I love being a coach. It's so, so, so fun. It's so rewarding. That's kind of the update on this week. I'm gonna continue to do some more work and then I'll go hit the gym. Okay. Bye. <laughs> what is up, YouTube? It is now Saturday. What day is it? The 21st? 22nd yeah <laughs> and we are on our way to the gym right now so I don't have any workout to do I finished all my upper days and my lower days but it's my first posing seminar you guys or my first posing one-on-one -on -one with Lauren sorry <laughs> it's my first posing one-on-one -on -one with Lauren so we're headed there right now it starts in an hour so when I get there, I'm just going to roll out a little bit, stretch, walk on the treadmill, warm up so that I am a little bit more flexible, can get into my poses a little bit more easily once we start. And then, yeah, at three o'clock, I jump on a call with Lauren for an hour and we're gonna fix some of my posing. I brought like my ring light <laughs> so that I can just set it up. We live in a one bedroom apartment it's puny so I don't really have any room to pose around and do like my whole routine unless I want to stay in the same spot <laughs> so that's why I'm doing it at the gym but the gym lighting is so weird where I'm doing the posing so hopefully I can set it up so that it actually looks okay because every time I try to record myself it's like too dark it's just weird our gym's terrible <laughs> We can't wait until we go to a different gym. Yeah. I'm gonna drink some pump so that my muscles look nice and full and vascular while I am hitting all of my poses. So yeah, I'm excited. Okay, you guys, I just finished my posing session with Lauren. It went so freaking good. I just love her, she's the best. So basically I have all of my steps down. She said that my posing is so good for stepping on stage for only one time. Practice pays off, you guys. Posing is not easy for me. I've had to really, really, really work at it. We're just working on technique fixes, just being more flowy. She said with her amateurs, it's just like learning the basics, but with me, we're learning pro stuff. So that like made me have a miniature freak out. I also talked to her because I have not dropped weight in the last week, which is really weird. I don't know if this would be like my time of month or what because i have been feeling like a little bit crampy so maybe that's just fluctuating because of that we'll see next week we might have to make some adjustments but for right now she's like don't even worry about it we still have tons of time you're gonna come and dial but i'm gonna run you through my routine we just change like two things and that's making sure i am rotating all the way also where my hands go when i am getting into the back pose and one of my hand positions <laughs> in my side pose so I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now and then as I work on it throughout the duration of my prep I'll try to show you guys progress of it
am off to the gym right now to get an upper body session in. It is the middle of my 11th, <clears throat> what? Middle of my 11th week of prep. Um, my weight, I dropped down to 117. I had my lowest weigh in this week. I'm not gonna be surprised if Lauren comes back to me today and is like, yo, we're changing things up. I'm off to the gym and I'm actually gonna meet up with one of my really good friends. She's so cute. Shout out to Soraya. I love her. She's like literally my soul sister. We bonded over leggings, you guys, because we're both mutually obsessed with workout leggings and workout clothing. If you saw my closet, all of my clothes are still from like high school and like <laughs> old. They're all old. I don't really buy clothes. I buy workout stuff because that's what I live in. Yeah, we bonded over that and we're going to go get a lift in together for the first time. So I'm so excited. She is so bad. Eh? One bad thing I just freaking did though. I'm in Braden's. Oh, look at that lovely town. I am in Braden's truck right now because he had to take my car because he had to travel to work today and I grabbed the wrong keys. He has like the same exact pair of keys. One's a spare and one's not. One has the house key on it and one doesn't. And I grabbed the freaking spare that doesn't have the house key on it. So I am screwed. I'm locked out of my house. I'm orphaned over here. I'm gonna have to call my landlord and have her open the door because Brayden's not gonna be back until like six tonight and it's literally the morning, so. I'm sad. Whatever. <laughs> We're just gonna go to the gym, get a good workout in, and then I'll figure it out later. <laughs> this is my girlfriend, Soraya. My biggest dream coming like, true. This is my literally my best friend. <gasps> oh. <laughs> We're working out. We're doing upper body. So it burns. Let's get it. Burns so good. <laughs> it burns good. <laughs> They wouldn't give me the answers, so I gotta go out and get it. I'ma hold them off for ransom. This how I planned it. Did it right here where I'm standing. Came from the mud, they counted us out. Now we standing on the planet. They don't know just what to do with me. Promise this is nothing new to me. If you came in here to ruin me, hope you right not a eulogy. I was tailor made beautifully. You can never find two of me. <laughs> Look how I'm shining. Cold turn into diamonds. I need a moment of silence. This is our moment. Always on a grind to the sun, come on us. They can never control. I am just at the gym right now. Today is Saturday, May something. I don't know what day it is. It's the end of May because this is Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day is on Monday. We've changed some stuff. I got my carbs cut quite a bit. It's time to get a little bit more aggressive. <laughs> this is the part where you get to prove to yourself that you can go to that next level. I just started my lower carb split yesterday, so this is my second day on that. Well, it's my, let's see, my last refeed was on Tuesday, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So this is my fourth low day, but my second low day on the new macros. I got a 30 gram macro cut. So I have today, tomorrow, and then Monday, low days, and then I get my next high day on Tuesday. I'm still at the same cardio intensity, so 45 minutes steady state cardio, incline walking. I'm getting my posing practice in as well. I need to practice this guy so freaking much so that it can be perfect up on stage and I can just feel really comfortable. I get super nervous because I really haven't done any other sports or like competitions other than bikini. The first time I was on stage was for my bikini competition besides little dance classes when I was little, like under the age of 10. So I just want to be more prepared going to this next show or feel more prepared at least um, knowing that I've practiced and put in a ton of hours. I put in a lot of hours in my first competition, but I just have way more time this time around. Mm -hmm. 